Hey, 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 everybody. I'm back with a new video. Um, for those that don't know me, that are new to this channel, my name is Jera, and I am the creator of Unfertilized Eggs. Thank y'all so much for tuning in to this video. Um, today, what I want to talk about is um, based on a reel, a most recent reel that I put on my Instagram page talking about um, how I would not make a good mother. Um, so here are the reasons why. Um, so as I said many, many times before, for me, you know, the type of person that I am, I do not like a lot of noise. Um, so wait, let's go back before we get into all of that. Um, okay, so for one, I have a fear of, you know, pregnancy, of going through that whole um, notion of, you know, carrying something inside of me for nine months and um, just possibly having implications. Um, there was a lot of things that happened to women, especially black women during childbirth. And um, that just doesn't fascinate me at all. You know, just wanting to become pregnant and going through labor and then bringing the baby home, putting them in a car seat, um, having to deal with all the technicalities of that. And um, it just seems like a, a lot of hassle that I don't want to deal with and put up with in my life. Um, so that's, you know, the start. <laughs> it's like many, many, many reasons that would you know, cause me not to be a great mother, even though a lot of people, they, um, you know, when they get to know me and they look at me and they say, oh my gosh, you're so nice and so sweet and whatnot. You make a good mother. No, I mean, not in, in the traditional sense, at least, meaning that, you know, I don't want to get pregnant. I don't want to take care of a baby or an infant. I can handle kids when they're about four years old and up, um, as long as they're, of course, they should be potty trained by that, that age. <laughs> But as long as they're, you know, of course, potty trained and uh, very well behaved, that's when I can, you know, handle kids. And for those that don't know, I used to be a substitute teacher and I thought about getting into um, um, education, teaching second grade or fourth grade, something like that. I thought about it. Um, but once I, whew, once I experienced being a um, uh, substitute teacher, I'm like, oh, no, thank you. My hat goes off to all the teachers out there, um, substitute teachers that, that have done it for a long time. And yeah, y'all have a lot of patience. Also, my heart goes out or my my hat, um, I tip my hat to mothers as well, because that's hard work. I can just imagine. Like, again, I love being an auntie, but no, I don't think I'd be a great, a great mother to a baby or an infant. Um, so yeah, just me knowing the type of person that I am. I don't like a lot of noise. I just like to get up and go when I want to. Um, I love the freedom of being child free. Um, I love dealing with children when they can, you know, speak back to me let, and let me know what's going on as opposed to having a baby and all that crying and, oh, golly, you know, waking me up out of my sleep with crying and, you know, having to breastfeed and mm -mm, I don't, I don't want to do none of that. Changing diapers. Ooh, what else? Potty training, um, car seat, like I said before. It's just a lot, a lot of things that cause me not to want to be a mother. Even though people say I make a great mother. No, I make a great auntie. <laughs> I make a great babysitter for a children that's, you know, again, four and up. But to have a baby and a, an infant around me 24 seven, no thanks, no thanks, no thanks, no thanks. Um, one day I, I do believe that I will uh, consider adoption or being a foster parent, you know, but that's way, way, way down the line. I'm probably talking maybe five to 10 years down the line. I just really enjoy my life the way it is. And, um, again, just getting up to go when I want to, I'm taking a, um, an impromptu road trip in a couple of days, just, um, quick two hour drive there and back to, uh, Sedona, Arizona. For those that don't know, um, Phoenix is about two hours from Sedona. So I just want to go out that way again and uh, just be at one with nature and meditate and, and all that good stuff. But um, yeah, you can do those kind of thing, those kinds of things when you don't have a child. And um, again, I just love this, you know, this child free life that I'm living. And for those that may, you know, say, oh, you're going to regret it one day. I haven't gotten there yet and I don't think I'll ever get there. Uh, you know, those that know me know how old I am. One day I'm going to do a giveaway because when I tell people my real age, they never believe me, but uh, I'm not going to reveal my, my age here on this video. I'm going to do a giveaway um, actually on my birthday. My birthday is September 7th. So yeah, I'll give, I'll do a giveaway for those who can guess my real age, whoever guesses it right. 
you know, let me just focus on what the topic is today. <laughs> but yeah, um, just to address the fact that, you know, even though people say I'd be a great mother, no, I would not in the traditional sense because of the reasons I listed before. If you can um, relate to this, make sure you leave a comment down below. If you have any questions for me, leave a comment down below. Uh, make sure that you subscribe to the channel, share this video with somebody that you think um, can relate to it. And, um, you know, tell them to subscribe to the channel and you do so as well. And um, make sure you hit the notification button so that you'll be alerted when new videos do get released. Um, again, thank you so much for watching and I hope y'all have a great, 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 great day. Bye.